Hey guys, how are you doing today? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to plot phasor diagrams and power triangles on GeoGebra. There are some other software out there, such as MATLAB, Excel, Illustrator, where you can do exactly almost the same thing, but it takes a little more time, a little more knowledge to accomplish almost at the same level we are going to accomplish in GeoGebra. And you're going to find that it's so easy, so quick, and so tidy and neat for your lab report, especially for those fellow electrical and computer engineers. I think you're gonna, guys are going to find that this so useful. And now let's go. Let's go to it. Uh, let's try to make this in five minutes. So you guys don't just watch it and go right away to your labs. Now uh, you go GeoGebra, GeoGebra, uh, GeoGebra.R, you go here, you click here. We're not going to click it because it last time took too much time to load, so I don't want to lose so much time. You can start calculator, it has also a 3D calculator. Uh, shout out for those guys, pretty nice. I tried it several times, but for now we're going to focus on this one. Now, we have a vector, we go here, toolbox, and vector, vector y, because we know that the phasers are, compl are vectors on the complex plane. Right, so we go from A to B, we click here, we're going to define B, where the vector is pointing at. It's going to be for my uh, for my voltage from the source. I'm going to do another one real quick for the current, but for now I'm going to do this slow so you guys get the point. Go here, settings, on the, on the dot, the point I mean, remember, here, algebra, you define the kind of coordinates you want to use. In, the, in my case, I want to use polar coordinates, so I choose polar coordinates. Basic. Now, we're going to change. It's going to be 5. 5 and uh, uh, 0 degrees. That's good. I click there. Here we have it there. Now, we're going to find the vector. Click on the vector. Remember, click on the vector, settings, algebra, polar coordinates, caption. You would say name of caption. Well, let's try for name. Maybe it works. You can say V for voltage source, but you know you need the, the units, right? Because this is for um, most of the time for a lab report. So the unit's gonna be for sure volts. So, but it says no, it's not possible. Why? Because by definition, GeoGebra doesn't allow to do so. But we can use the caption option. Voltage source, volts. Sorry, volt. The unit volt. And we are good to go, right? Okay. Here, caption and value, so important. Click there. Now we got it. Now we can just get rid of this point here. We click here, settings, show object, buy. Now we want to get rid of this one in a second. I'm gonna do this one real quick for you guys. This uh, current, we click here, click here. You see what I did? You, this is something you don't have to do. For, don't forget to click on move option. Go back, go back, go back, go back. So let me go a little farther. Move, all right, click here. Dot, settings, algebra, polar coordinates. 3.54, let's say, and it's gonna be leading the voltage by 95 degrees, let's say. There we go, we got it. Now, again, we want to get rid of this guy here, chest looks nice and tidy for your lab report so we click here settings uh, caption uh, yes current coming from the coming out of the source amp milliamp caption and value and you see like oh my god what happened here we can hear we can see like yeah, this cartesian no worries algebra polar coordinates there we go get rid of this one right here why because Again, we need something nice and tidy. There we go. We're good to go. Now we for sure want all those laugh marks, right? Easy laugh marks. And you know, some instructors might want to get to change the color of this one. Change the color of this one. You can also change the lines. Look to this one. I'm pretty. Sure I don't like that to be honest. And it was not required for mine. So, but you can do so. yours required. You can do so, guys. Now. Uh, we got this. Now we want all those lab marks, so don't forget the 
the axis, like the axis, gonna be imaginary, imaginary axis, it's gonna be IM, as we always say it. There, click here, oh, real, RE, good to go. And also look for all you other mathematicians and guys who want to do crazy stuff here with latex formulas, you can do so. So you can have anything you want. It's gonna be face or diagram, right? There we go. Move facer. Move here this, move this one here. And here you have all your lab marks. Hundred percent guys. Uh, now, now what do we do? What do we do? We're gonna export this, or you're gonna say, well, how can we export it? We can export it directly. We have to take a snip pick or anything. We have to click here and go to export image, download. Look at this beauty, so nice. It's now ready to go. You can put it on the, you know, can just like record, like trim the sides and trim the bottom, trim the sides other side and it's gonna nice look nice and tidy now a little trick here when you guys are gonna be done with these ready to go for another phaser diagram and you might not want to change everything you don't want to start from scratch you just want to modify this remember modify the where they are pointing at don't modify the vector you don't try to do so you can't do go here Say so now it's still five for the voltage somehow. Now it's 30, 30 degrees, and now this one is exactly same magnitude, but now it says lagging. There we go, and we are good to go, right? Yep, look so nice. Uh, we changed that. You can add so many as many as you want, and I think that's really nice. You're gonna find it so useful. But now, uh, what about the face or the uh, the triangle? Sorry, I'm gonna show you a little trick here. And we're gonna use our programming skills. Let's say vector Q, which is gonna be for the um, for the reactive power. It's gonna be a vector pointing from you know from this one. Let's use this one for the real power, and this one for the complex power. So it's gonna be pointing from here to here. It's gonna be from C, which is the point here, from C all the way to B. And if, there we go. We good to go. Now let's. I'm gonna do like a little example here, real really quick. I'm gonna modify this, change settings. Um, this is gonna be my complex power S. And it's gonna be the units are gonna be milli volt ampere, and that's about it. Show up caption and value. Algebra polar coordinates. We good to go. We're gonna change now the dot. The point you remember that I told you about it is 18.65, and it's pointing at 49.5. There we go. As you can see, the scales itself. Wow, that's crazy, right? We didn't have to do anything. So those programming skills are actually really nice. Now we're gonna change this one. Settings. Remember, it's um, it's gonna be our real power. Is milliwatts. And when we click out of here, and just click. It changes automatically to to ca from caption value to the default, which is caption. You will just return there. And now we are gonna change what else? This one right here. The vector here. Settings, you can go from here or from here, it doesn't really matter. A uh, algebra, polar coordinates, and what is this? This is Q, which is our a uh, reactive power, and the units are a uh, milli volt ampere reactive reactive sorry a uh, resistor. Now uh, we go here, we are good to go. Let's move this one here. This for sure doesn't face the arm anymore. To just get rid of that one for now. And here. Now let's change the definition of this one. This one is going to be 12.11. 12.11. And pointing at 0 degrees because of real power, right? Click here. Settings. 
And now what we're gonna do, show caption and value, polar coordinates, and you see we have your we have the triangle. And something you have to keep in mind is that this one it's a lot of digits here. What you want to do? Go here, settings, settings, global here again, settings, settings, settings again. Change it to two decimal numbers. That's what we're working on. And there we go, guys. Nice to see. Nice to do so. Anyways, that's about it. You can move this here if you don't want to. You want to. Nice and tidy. Remember, go here, here, export image, and download. And it's good to go. Great. Uh, that's a, that's for today. I hope you you learned something and you're gonna apply and hope you apply these in your labs, your lab reports so you can get all those marks, right? And that's that's about it. And bye for now. Take care and I'll teach you something else later on. Alright, bye for now. Take care.